Hello, this is Chaos Baloo, and welcome to Golden Sun. After a long journey, we have ascended the Venus Lighthouse, and we are shortly about to face off against the villainous Satros and Merti. But first, ahem, at long last, the time has come to light the Venus Lighthouse's beacon! With the second beacon lit, only two will remain. No. Lighting Jupiter is virtually the same as lighting Mars. That is true! Jupiter is really all that remains. That's right. Your dreams are within your grasp now. Also, it's Shiba. Why are you still here, Felix? I thought I ordered you on ahead to the ship. I've already sent Jenna and the others to the docks at Itagema? Hmm. Then why did you come back? Because I have a different promise to keep. A promise, you say? You must mean Shiba. Yes, Shiba. Why haven't you released her yet? You promised to free her once you got into Venus Lighthouse. And that's what brought you back here? You promised not to involve anyone who wasn't related to this matter. Shiba is special. Of course. Because Shiba's a special adept? By the way, Shiba's an adept. Go figure. You guys learned something from the first two lighthouses. And what would that be? In order to enter each lighthouse, you needed an adept of that clan. So, you're saying Shiba is a Jupiter adept. Also, I just want to point this out, but we totally didn't need a Venus adept to enter this lighthouse. We needed... In fact, we needed a Jupiter adept. So, you know, figure that one out. Right now, we have fire, earth, and water adepts, but no wind. That does seem to be the case. Do we need Shiba to enter the Jupiter Lighthouse? I'm sorry, Felix, but we can't even enter without a wind adept. That being the case, I guess I can understand why you can't set Shiba free. It seems like you, too, have learned something. If that is all, then you should go, Felix. No, I cannot leave Shiba behind. Excuse me. I'm taking her to the ship. What are you talking about, Felix? We don't know what will happen when you light this beacon. I won't leave Shiba here to find out. We told you that we'd protect Shiba. Do you, don't you trust us? Would, would you really trust someone who was blue? And come on, look at that smirk. He has blue skin, blue hair, red eyes, and a sinister sister smirk as all hell. Not exactly the most trustworthy face. Don't tell us we're bet. Don't tell us what's best, Felix. You're not taking Shiba. Why not? What? Don't trust me? Frankly, I think Felix is more trustworthy than these two goons, but. Seriously? That's terrible reasoning. <laughs> Not really. 
Come with me, Shiva. I shall protect you. Are you re are you ready to do this, even though it means fighting us? Spoiler alert, he's not. Well, if it means dying to protect her, I guess. I mean, I gotta tell you, Felix. You may talk tough, but we both know you're no match for these two. Even in the Venus Lighthouse. That, that's what I'm saying, Meredy. I mean, come on. <laughs> this rebellious attitude is exactly why we've never let you fight. Haven't you been given enough reason to fear us in these travels? You were no fighter, Felix. How can you hope to stand against us? You've questioned us for the last time. Let's see what you can do. Yep. Isn't there something more to it, though? It seems Satros and Meredy no longer trust Felix. Looks like the perfect opportunity has just fallen into our laps. I wouldn't say that, but yep, I agree. On that note, however, it is also time to equip the Dragon Scales. Here's the thing, Satros and Meredy are both fire adepts. They're both extremely powerful fire adepts. As such, I want to have as high fire resistance on everyone as possible. I, it may go without saying, but you do not want Maya in the middle of your party. Whatever you've been doing before now, uh, ordering by agility or whatever, do not put her in the middle, because she is always going to be the most vulnerable to fire attacks. And they will punish you if you let them. That said, let's go fight us. Some fire people. So, you've come to stop us! Look what your defiance has brought us, Felix. I don't need you or anyone to rescue me, Isaac. I was just about to settle things with Satros and Meredith by dying, yes. Uh, what? But you just... You're not making any sense, Felix. You're just really not. Silence! You'd best tread lightly, Felix, or both you and Sheba will suffer. If anything happens to Sheba, we'll have, to, we'll have failed Faron. We won't, we won't permit you to lay a hand on Felix or Sheba. Ho ho ho! So you're worried about Shiba too? Don't, don't worry. We won't hurt Shiba if you meet our conditions. Um, why would you? Well, he's sort of bargaining with something he doesn't want to lose, but, and we should know that. But we are such good to two shoes, we're gonna fall fall for it anyway, I suppose. Instead of just killing his ass. The Rod of Hesperia? What you talking about? Those who per what? We bear more than one rod, I gotta be honest. Can she? What is she even doing? Oh, synergy. Perhaps. 
That's a vague answer. Perhaps. Perhaps what? Yeah, don't do it. We're not yelling. We just want a straight answer. Their minds are veiled. I cannot see clearly, but I think it's the one. It's a waste to make her try a game. I think she tried to read her mind. Maybe. It, like we even know what the hell that Rod of Asperia is. E yes. Well, no, you're thinking of Garrett, not me. I'm the smart one. Well, you just... Shaman's... I guess the Shaman's Rod is the Rod of Hesperia. I mean, we're still... No, I don't agree. You're not gonna hurt her anyway. You need her. He wants the Shaman's Rod. If it will save Shiba, but it won't save her! They can't hurt her anyway! Also, that... Well, I do, but I just don't think he'll hurt her. You f need her. Where are you gonna get another Jupiter Adept? There aren't that many around. And none- And the ones that are around can- Are strong enough to at least stand a fighting chance. I guess we're giving them the rod. Oi. Well, at least it's not clogging up our inventory anymore. Indeed. They never said anything about releasing Shiba. They just said they wouldn't hurt her, which they weren't going to do anyway! Come on! Yeah, like, he wasn't exactly being subtle about this. Seriously, guys. Seriously. You didn't even know what you were agreeing for, but you still forced me into the d damn bargain. Ah! Ha ha ha! We can't help it if you misinterpreted Satros's terms. Besides, if we were to release Shiva, she'd be in quite a fix. What? Do you mean? Shiba can't get back to Lelivero alone. Ye well, I think she probably could if she, but all the same, that is an ominous thing to say. Um, I've been figured it out. That's right. You won't be going back. This is the end for you! Uh... N you know, normally that would be where the battle started. Bring it on, well, You won't live long enough to regret your stupidity! Prepare to experience firsthand the horror of a master fire adapt. adapt. Eh. Talking. And we're fight Satros and Meridi for the final battle! Now, Satros hits things really hard with his sword. Meridi uses a lot of synergy. She also has an instant death attack, which, so, you know, watch out for that. Because, it, it, yeah. We are going to, hmm. Now. I suggest you do not use Ginny in this battle. I mean, well, I say that. Maybe that's not very good advice. Let me rephrase that. I'm not going to use Ginny in this battle, because I think it'll be more interesting if I don't. Um, I'm still going to use Ragnarok all up over the place, though, and also... Hmm... 
I said I'm not gonna use Ginny, but what it really meant is I won't use summons. I'm gonna use a lit, a few like Forge. Forge is just too good not to use. Mm, actually, actually, I want to try to seal her synergy. I still want to use Ragnarok and Forge. And of course, when I said I won't use summons, I yeah you yeah. Anyway, no, I really won't. Now, the thing is, Maya hits the hardest, because they're weak against water. But she's also the most vulnerable, and she's also our primary healer. Yes, it worked! It won't last for very long. But that will make the first few rounds much easier. Uh, that can instantly kill people. And I sealed her synergy, so she's probably going to do it a lot. Because, you know, that, that was smart. Oh yeah, I forgot that that wrapped me in delusion. Hmm. Okay, I want to boost my agility. I want to use Ragnarok. I want to boost my defense, I think? Yeah. And I can use Glacier one more round before I need a heal. Though hopefully they don't, don't hit Ivan again. BAM! Yep, that's pretty comparable to... Excuse me, the damage from... The other one. Uh, oh, I forgot he did that. I totally forgot about that. That sucks. Now, fortunately, that should have only reset my attack power and the synergy's not sealed anymore. Mmm... Okay, I'll use Altaria. That's the only summon I'm gonna use. Ragnarok. I wanna re... You know, it's easier if I just summon this, but... Okay, I lied. I lied. <laughs> or so it seems. I don't know. Like, I needed to use some Ginny just to lock them out. And after I've used them, it's like, I could reset them, or I could just summon something. And it's easier to just summon them. Uh, yeah. I really hope Satrus doesn't hit Ivan, is all I have to say. Yeah, that wasn't very effective at all. Oh, fuck. Well, that, that sucks. Okay, I need to use Revive. You are kind of worthless. Use... Oh, I can use Protect, actually. Do that. And you don't need to heal anyone, so Glacier. Fortunately, Reviving goes to full health. Haunt? No, don't do that. Well, that sucks. I mean, do I have what I need to remove that, actually? Let's see. You don't. Hmm. I wonder if this will work. Probably not, but it's worth a try. Protect again, and... Wait, I need to check items. Oh, that deludes. Hmm. Let's see. Nope. Actually, just attack him. I really... If this breaks, this is gonna... That doesn't do anything. Well... Shoot, I can't get rid of the curse. That's no good. And on Maya too, that's actually potentially really bad. You know, if they killed Maya, it actually wouldn't be terrible because they would get rid of the curse. 
which I'm concerned about because that status effect can prevent you from acting, I think. Which is bad. Obviously. Plus also, I'm not sure whether or not it persists after battles. Uh, although I guess at this point, that's not super relevant. Mm. Anyway, let's do Shine Plasma. Along for Ragnarok. And... I can't buff up my defense anymore, so I guess I'll just attack him. And I'll do that. I mean, I sort of want to use an offensive synergy with Maya, but it's safer if I just preemptively heal. They really have it out for Ivan. Like, they really have it. Oh, my agility just reset. Okay, well, that's the one thing that I want to keep going. So, I'm gonna keep it going. And let's use Glacier. Because the speed boost from this is kind of really important. Okay, that kind of sucks, but... On her... Her cast that on herself isn't too bad. I'd be more worried had she done it on Satros. Okay, I actually like that targeting. Well, I would like it. Uh, maybe not. Maya takes a lot of damage from that stuff. Hmm. Do that. Do Ragnarok. Do stuff. And do... Let's go wish well. They just keep going. Okay, yes! We took out Satros! Now all that's left is Merity. And Merity has less HP than Satros. In fact, to be honest, you're probably better off targeting... Merity first, because she has all the multi-target things and the instant death effect. Uh, but I didn't do that. Obviously. But with Sadros gone, all that's left is taking out Merity. So, and she's not too far off. Uh, although, let's do be more serious than just attacking her. We, we should probably be. I really hope Curse goes away after battle. I, I don't think it does, but I really hope it does. Hmm. Otherwise, that'll just be bugging me a whole lot. Because the th there is a, um, how would you call it, a, a playable, um, prologue, no, postlogue, conclusion, the after game part, after we beat the final boss, there's a playable section in there, which isn't very long, but it'll drive me crazy to go through that if Maya is still cursed. I guess it's a pretty minor complaint, but even so. Come on! We've almost got her. Okay, the one person it would really suck if that worked on is Isaac, because he is the most convenient way to revive people. Hmm. Actually, you know what? I could have... Oh, well, I killed her. And I was just thinking about trying to finish her off with a uh, water genie. Hmm. Oh, well. I still got 6,000 experience. Not as... A.K.A. not as much as dead peers. <laughs> but it's still enough to level up. With a few people. We did it! We beat them! Alright, Shiva, let's go. 
Felix, what are you doing? I cannot give up, Shiva. What? But we were just saved you! I never asked you to help us. Felix, you're not one of them. You're free to go now. So why are you doing this? The four beacons still must be lit. You're going to light the beacons? That's ridiculous! I felt you'd say that, but I'm going to do it anyway. Because reasons. Seriously, why? Won't it, like... No. Friend or enemy, you won't stop me from taking Shiba with me. I hope you don't think you've finished us off. You may not be finished, but you can barely stand. Right now, yes. But we'll be back on our feet. As soon as we do this! Yep. Really, you probably should have seen that coming. That's not all. The energy will restore our power. Doesn't mean it'll restore my power as well. I mean, sure, I know Ivan isn't gonna like it much, but the rest of us. Uh, yes. Uh, well, as they're about to explain. Ooh, that was a nice effect. And it's lit! Fire and Earth share a symbiotic relationship. Just like water and wind. Although, notably, Ivan did not get powered up in the water lighthouse. Uh, anyway. This light will restore our synergy! We'll fight you as many times as it takes. We won't lose! You may have beaten the two of us. But now, you face the true might of the Fire Clan of the North. The f um... Bear witness to the true strength of the Northern Wilds! Oh, give up! We've beaten you once and we'll do it again! Go, Felix! Take Sheba and go! We may not have the strength to protect Shiba after this. You must take Shiba to the ship without fail. What are you waiting for? Go! Now! No, I cannot leave you to fight them alone. Seriously? Uh, not really. <laughs> I wonder indeed. Wouldn't you be just a little sad to see your childhood friend perish? What are you saying? I'm saying you're here to protect this brat from your past. Do you really think I would help them? Lester say I wouldn't put it past you. Are you- and you, Satros, do you agree? I wouldn't say that, but you would be best not to raise our suspicion. Yeah... You aren't really in any position to stop them. Yeah, they are. What's up with that? It's time you learned what true power is. So it seems. <laughs> it's too late to run. 
There, there, what? What? There, what? Uh, behold, the true final boss! Which is why I was worried about Curse carrying over. It looks like it didn't, so that's good. This is, however, why you shouldn't go overboard with summons in Sadra's Merity fight, because you'll be screwed against Fusion Dragon if you do. Oh no, I st I'm still cursed. Well, fuck. Um, I can't do anything about that, and Doom Dragon here, Fusion Dragon, rather. Doom Dragon, what's a Doom Dragon? <laughs> Fusion Dragon here is res- It's still fire al element, but it has- well, there's two catches. First of all, it's really big and powerful. Second of all, it has Ginny Storm. So, I'm not even going to pretend that I'm gonna try to keep all my Ginny on, because it's not gonna let me. Uh, sooner or later, I I'll lose them. Let's see, I want to use Flash, and... That one. Because... <laughs> The other thing is, this boss, use, unless I'm getting mixed up, which I might be, but this boss uses a trick where it's less vulnerable to summons, which deal damage based on the HP of the target, than most other bosses, as it has more than one stage to it. Each stage, and each stage has its own life bar. So its effective health is larger than the health that is used for calculating summon damage. Let's see... I want to boost resistance. I want to... I want to... S hmm... Granite... I want to boost my defense, and... Wait, will this cure curse? Well, there's one way to find out. I really hope it does, because otherwise that's a wasted turn, and that would suck, among other things. Yes, I got rid of it! Dragon Driver? No, that wasn't so bad. Let's see... No, I want to use... Okay, it's weak against, weakest against water. So, I'm gonna use that on Maya. I want to use... Gravity, I want to boost my attack power, I think, and let's try to lower its attack power. Hopefully that'll work. Let's see. It did not go down. And it just reverted all of my stat boosts. Well, that is really bad. Paralyzing it probably won't work. I might be able to see the synergy, though. Let's see. There's no way I can poison it. Let's go with that one. Right after I do the attack buff. Oh, I... That's annoying. Mmm... I don't think I'll be able to inflict this. So, synergy... Or... Let's go with the defense. Now... Let's heal him. Because he's gonna need it. And use Boreas. It works! 
I love that Ginny. It is has a super high success rate, although it doesn't last for very long. Now, I don't know how many things that'll actually lock a deadly poison on Garrett. That's frustrating. But I think I can handle it. I'm pretty sure I have a ring that can cure that. So I can still use Maya for healing. Actually, I say that, but she won't be able to use... Um, she will not be able to use the thing this turn. Uh, wish. She'll have to wait until next turn. Uh, which is unfortunate, because that. Okay, well, I want to summon you. I want to I want to summon all of them. Hmm. How can I do this? Nothing that you have. Okay. You, Garrett's poisoned as well, so... That is one target. That's one target. May as well do Thor. You need to use Cure. On... Ivan? Garrett? I need to heal freaking everyone. You should... You know what? No. Mmm... You don't know. I, if I don't use it now, I nev I'll never be able to. I need to use Cure for sure, though. You heal him. You use Meteor. You... Uh... I'll... Let's go with Cure Poison. Now, the same thing as with Deadbeard applies here, where I could be alternating my two defensive Ginny, and I would be fairly safe if I did that. But the thing is, if I did that, I would only be able to effectively attack with Ivan and no one else. Hmm. Garrett may die this turn, which would suck. It depends on how they attack. Okay, well Ivan's gone. Maya's gone. And my agility just got reset, so you know, that's great. I can't use that, either. You can't revive anyone. Oi, oh, this is really bad. You use a potion on yourself. I really needed one of Maya, of Maya or Ivan to stay alive. And now Garrett's dead. The only good news here is I have Quartz. You know, if they don't just kill me. And if Quartz is successful. Okay, well Quartz didn't work very well, and now Isaac is dead. And I'm probably gonna die. That sucks. That actually really sucks. Revive Isaac. And now Maya's dead again. Ah. Uh... Hmm. Well, I'll just have to hope that I can. I just have to hope that I can get Buffy enough that I can survive an attack and heal and revive someone.
Cause yeah, this is really iffy at this point. Okay, let's try to revive Ivan because he has all of the waters of life. And then it just immediately does this. Twice in a row? Well, that's bullshit. And we're dead. That sucks. This fight is really hard. <laughs> <laughs>